Hello and welcome back. This is just going to be a very quick one. We're updating video 155, giving the player a unique ID when they join. Uh, in that video, Gal Sergi made a comment which showed me a much better way to do it, so I thought I would share it with you. We are going to create the objective. Create objective. This is going to be the scoreboard where we're going to save the ID. Scoreboard, objectives, add ID, makes sense, dummy. And then we are going to have a controller. And this is what's going to be the, the one that's assigning the IDs. OK, so let's actually let's start with this turned off. Turn that off. Uh, we are going to execute as, press the wrong button, execute as all players unless the score of that player, their ID score, matches one or higher. Okay, so if it matches one or higher, we're not going to do anything. But if it doesn't match one or higher, we are going to store a result. And we're going to store a result in a scoreboard objective of the player we're targeting. We're going to store it in the ID slot. Okay, what are we going to store? We are going to store the result from the next command. Run the scoreboard, players, add, and we're going to have a fake player, and we're going to call him next ID, one. So what we're doing there is we're just adding one to next ID. So if a player doesn't have an ID score, so it's zero or lower, zero or they don't have one, we will add one to next ID's ID score and then we will store that on the player. Okay, done. Now let's scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, ID. I don't have a score, so if we turn this on, if it was a repeating command block, if we turn this on, I should jump to one. Yeah, there we go. And that has now gone to one. And it will remember that. So if I go, if I set my own score back to zero, scoreboard players set at P ID zero, it goes to two because it's remembering the ID here. So if someone else joins, they'll get three, the next person gets four, the next person gets five and so on and so on. This is a much nicer way of doing it. So if you're going to do unique IDs, use this way instead. Thank you very much to the Gal Sergi for pointing out how to do that. Hopefully this week I'll be able to get out a couple more videos at least, a bit more time this week. See you next time. Bye.